All right, so part two on this little experiment with Instagram likes. Uh, so as per my last video, Instagram recently released uh, a release, <laughs> uh, which uh, removes the visibility of likes on other accounts. So you can't see how many likes other people's photos get. Uh, and what I noticed was a dramatic decrease in the number of likes that I got on my account. So I've been doing some more uh, investigating into this and looking at and I took the first thing I did was have a have a look at my followers and took it as a real deep dive into that. And what I found was there was a there was a lot of accounts in there that had heaps of following, uh, but no followers. So they were, they were bots or they were paid whatever's or I don't know. Um, but there was a lot of accounts that just um, were following around 7000 people. Uh, and then only had a hundred followers or something. So, you know, if someone's following seven thousand people, they're they're not exactly engaging. Um, so I got rid of all those, which turned out to be about a third of my count. So I totally culled uh, my followers. I went from about three thousand to around two thousand followers. Um, now the reason I did that was I wanted to see whether. The lack of likes I was getting was primarily due to Instagram's new release or whether there was another factor involved. I'm a bit of an analytical person so I always think that there's multiple contributing factors to anything and um, and in this case I was kind of trying to prove to myself whether uh, the invisibility of likes was a major contributing factor or just um, a coincidence. Uh, so that was about 24 hours ago I deleted almost half my followers um, anyone who who had a, a really high following count I basically just went through and and got rid of them what so what I found then since the last couple of posts uh, since then as engagement has gone up uh, I was getting it had dropped to I think I mentioned in the other video like to half a percent um, from what used to be somewhere between five and ten percent uh, now the last Funnily enough, the two videos that had, or the two photos that had that really low engagement um, have come up again since then to about one and a half. The one I posted, the, the duplicate, so I purposefully posted a duplicate to see whether I would hit a different audience. A lot of people commented that they had seen it as well, so that was interesting. Um, that kind of shows that those core people were seeing, so the people who like my photos frequently do still see my photos regardless, um, which is good. Funnily enough, the first version I posted before I culled everyone, I got 45 likes on that photo. Um, and then, but the actual engagement rate was 1.6%. And then on the second photo, when I posted it, I got 33 likes, so I got less likes. Um, but I got 2.2 four uh, percent engagement now a little bit of that is the comments so the first photo got four comments and the second photo got 12 comments because I was asking people to comment on it I got less likes but higher engagement the, what that is telling me is that the followers that were there that I got rid of did make an impact um, however it only really impacted the number of likes by around you know 10 to 12 15 whatever 45 minus 33 is like that was the difference then the photo I post yesterday morning uh, got 53 likes which is sort of getting back up there again um, but a 2.7 percent engagement so uh, my conclusion at the moment is that the that huge amount of followers that were basically shit followers um, and I got rid of those was probably contributing to roughly half of my lack of um, lack of likes, um, and then the other half I think is likely the only other thing that's changed is the invisibility of likes. Now, why that is impacting my likes, I don't know, um, but it definitely is <laughs> because uh, I've dropped, I've still dropped a, a, a big chunk. Um, out of uh, the, the normal engagement I get. Um, now, the number of likes, I actually just had a, a quick interview with someone from CNET um, who saw my previous video uh, and she was asking, you know, is the number of likes, you know, really, uh, are you striving for the number of likes? Is the number of likes really, really important? Um, it is from a business perspective because it's the only way to really know 
whether you have a good photo on your hands or not. So a part of this is is I sell the photos as prints. It's a bit of a side gig. Um, <laughs> it's not exactly paying for itself at the moment. Is Instagram driving you know, business towards that? Is Instagram helping me sell my photos? Um, not at the moment, I have to admit. Like, it kind of does make you think, why am I doing this? So why am I putting all this effort in? if I'm not really getting much in return. So anyway, I think this has had an impact, but the other question that the that the, um, the journalist from CNET asked was, uh, do you think this is a positive or a negative thing, um, paraphrasing um, for Instagram, like do you think they should go ahead with it? And I still think they should go ahead with it. I think I'm happy to take that hit, um, meaning that I need to work a little harder to get the same result if it really, <laughs> yeah, makes the world a happier place. Like if, if people, if it has an impact on the way people use Instagram and they're happier using Instagram and they're happier, they get more, you know, it's not such a negative place um, and they're not, um, you know, not such a, a mental health impact, then I think that's a really positive thing. And I think in, in the long run, that will be, uh, you know, I'll see the benefits of that um, as it, from a business perspective. But as a user, um, using Instagram, I actually like the fact that I can't see the likes now because I'm just appreciating the photo for what it is. Um, so I, I, I think that the change is actually a really positive thing. Um, it's just that at the moment it's had a negative impact on my photos and my account. Um, and I'm just trying to work through that to figure out what the, you know, maybe likes is not what I need to be looking at. Maybe from now on I need to find a different measurement to determine whether my photos are good or not. Uh, or whether I have a good photo on my hands or not. Uh, anyway, just some thoughts. I thought I'd give you a quick update on it. If you have um, a perspective on it, I'd love to hear it. So throw it in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you next time. So yeah, thanks.